Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Before we get to that, Christine, uh, we do have a major piece of news, which is just moments ago, President Biden uh, answered a question that many of us have been asking, and that was whether he would endorse his vice president to take his place. And in a statement on social media, he now has. Here's what he says. He says, my very first decision as the party nominee in 2020 was to pick Kamala Harris as my vice president, and it's been the best decision I've made. Today, I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. Democrats, it's time to come together and beat Trump. So uh, this is a major puzzle piece falling into place, Christine. Had he not done that, uh, we would have been heading into several very chaotic weeks, perhaps a contested convention. But is the president basically turning uh, not only uh, his endorsement over to the vice president, but also his campaign war chest, his campaign operation, basically giving her the most high-profile endorsement he can to launch her on what will now be a breakneck three-and-a-half-month uh, campaign for the presidency. This is just something that we really haven't seen in modern times. I have to imagine, before he made this endorsement, his inner circle, his team must have said to him, this is our best path forward. Yes, and there have been a couple of different schools of thought within the party, Christine. There are some who say, you know, let's have some kind of mini uh, election, some sort of mini primary that will end up strengthening whoever comes out of it. Uh, and then there's been this other school of thought that says, no, that's a process that's uncontrollable. You can't predict who will end up being the victor. You could end up damaging uh, any number of those who are involved. Um, and, and these are individuals, some of whom have not been vetted on a national stage. And so this is clearly the safest route, especially given how little time there is to introduce the Democratic nominee to the public. Public, get them comfortable enough with this individual to uh, hopefully enable them to have a strong showing in November. So there's no question that this is the safest path. And the fact that the president did this and endorsed Kamala Harris as the nominee so soon after he announced that he himself would seeking the nomination is an indication that despite their public claims uh, that they weren't looking into this at all, uh, that behind the scenes there was a plan for this kind of one-two punch for the president to announce he wouldn't seek the nomination and then in very short order to throw his support behind his vice president. Wow. Wow. Hey, man, check it, man. It's your boy, ECEO, man. Really? I had to come in here and talk about this right, 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 real, real fast, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys hit that share button. Um, like I said, you know already how they do. So let, let's talk about it, you know, as far as sharing our information, pushing the channel. Let's make sure we do what we got to do to keep things going. But I wanted to talk about this Kamala Harris now being endorsed by Biden. And, and you know, with her being endorsed, um, will this really happen as far as the votes? Will the voters get behind her? This is something to think about. Um, when you think about it, you know, they didn't have much of a choice because if they had tried to endorse anyone else, guess what, guys? It would have cost them a numerous amount of dollars to even try to figure out how to get that going. So the transition is better for Kamala to get into that position, which is only right, because why would you pick her as a vice president if you wasn't ready for her to take over as president? That wouldn't make sense. So, I, but I, the question is, is America, it, will America get behind her? Will the people get behind her? Uh, and I know y'all saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who will she pick for her vice president? If she, if, when she starts to run, if she, if she gets it, who is she going to pick? This could be a very interesting uh, uh, election. The campaign is about to get very, very different. We've never seen it on this level before. Um, of course, you know, uh, you've seen Hillary, you know, when she ran, but now it's Kamala. Will Kamala Harris be able to uh, step in and do what has to happen in order to win this election? This is something the Democratic Party have to uh, really, really look at. They have to support Biden in his decision that he made. And as all of them talk about this, this thing is uh, going to start to unfold. Um, Trump, what, what will Trump say about Kamala? How difficult will this be for him running against uh, her, you know, 
Uh, I, I'm, you know, we know already how, how he can get. So Trump is not going to take it easy on nobody in the Democratic Party. And we already know that. But you guys got to let me know, do you guys really feel like America, blacks, whites, Hispanics, uh, women, all the women? Because I don't know, man. Will, will uh, hey, man, our uh, the ones that don't look like Kamala, will they back her or will they become jealous a little bit of the situation? I know y'all don't think it's a thing, but I don't know how smooth this is going to be. Uh, I think a lot of times there's a lot of people saying, oh, yeah, we, we for Kamala and we are support her. But I don't know, guys. I really don't know. It can get real ugly. This this I just had to stop and say something about it because this campaign, we've never seen a, a, a black woman running for um for, for, for office, uh, this is the first. And a lot of people thought it would be Michelle Obama. Well, no, it's Kamala Harris, guys. And, hey, you know, a lot of people don't feel good about things in her past when it comes down to our people. We know that. It's an it's a, it's a unseen thing that people don't talk about, but people know it exists and they know what really went down. And if you really, really know, you know. So at the end of the day, I'm just trying to figure out which way. Will, will people, will, what will Trump do? Well, Trump, Trump already dissed uh, Biden since this whole thing that jumped off. He already said he wasn't even fit for president. He don't matter if I got shot in the ear one day. What well, a day I'm, hey, I got time. And so he's coming back saying, I don't, hey, listen, I don't get down with him. He wasn't ready. He shouldn't have never been president in the first place. Trump don't play fair when it comes down. It's about winning. It, it, everything else don't matter to him. He just he want to win this election and he's not going to start playing now. And I can guarantee you it's some things about to start coming out as well. I really seen Kamala being uh, pushed uh, during the BET Awards. I already seen this coming. I already knew this was going to happen. I could see it coming. Anybody could see it a mile away because of the way that they was way she was being, you know, pretty much uh, uh, kind of you know, pushed out in front of the people. So I, I could kind of see it. If y'all don't agree with me, then get in the comments and let me know. But I, I kind of could see it. But do, do you people think that they're going to let Kamala Harris become the president of the United States of America? You guys got to let me know. Because like I said, she's going up against Trump. And we know Trump don't, hey, Trump not for the play. His followers, they, they, they can get downright. You've seen him get real nasty when it comes down to some of the things that happen. Some of the people that follow him, you guys know how it can get. So I'm just asking y'all, do y'all really see this happening? Guys, y'all got to let me know. Get in the comments. Will Trump, how will Trump play? The, will he play ball fair with Kamala Harris or not? Biden says he's dropping out the race. Kamala's going to be the one. Y'all need to get behind her. What y'all going to do? Let us know, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. I just had to speak on a little bit. Crazy, crazy, crazy how it's going down. I can't wait to see what happened. November, we got three months to see what really goes down, man. Make sure you guys vote. Get out there and get in the election. Vote. I don't know. How, I'm not telling you who to vote for because it's so crazy that I don't know. But I'm just telling you right now, what do you think is going to happen? Let me know in the comments. Is America ready for Kamala Harris to be the president of the United States? Do, should it be Trump? What do, what do we got? We don't. This is the choices that we have, man. Let us know, man. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is told. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.